Welcome everyone, it's October 20th, 2024. We are walking the road less traveled by. Occupancy, zero at the moment. I come here because, well, it's in my backyard. So, uh, easy access, you know. I'm all about the privileges. Uh, I'm all about the practicality. <clears throat> Solomon here, so here we go. You know, we're doing this. So I just ate lunch at home. That's what you're supposed to do for an optimal, nutritious meal. Cook and eat at home because there's less use of chemicals, MSG, preservatives, this and that, oils. You know, you get to control what you put in your food. And the more and more, you know, Dr. Oz stuff you read or whoever, you're not supposed to be using canola oil, or sunflower oil, all the cheap oils. Some people may even argue not to even use olive oil and just to use ghee or organic butter. And then there's a whole debacle about farm-raised, pasteurized, and whatever the hell. I don't know. Whole food stuff. And you know what? I'm Chinese. I eat everything. You know, I don't know what the hell gluten free is or whatever the fuck, what a carnivore diet is or what a non carnivore diet is. I'm a herbivore. I just fucking eat everything, as in fucking everything, because people, because of generational trauma with communism and, you know, just famine and starvation and the fact that there's a billion people, you know, in, in China and in India and in Asia in general and everyone's just fucking starving and you don't have time for that shit <clears throat> but in America in in the world of white people you know whole foods organic non-organic GMO whatever they have those options um, and you know what that's what it is yeah and, you know, dating, you know, Asians, in terms of food, may not be compatible with, like, white people. They're very picky in comparison. They only eat McDonald's or fast food or French fries or chicken nuggets, something very fixated. You know, these like autistic OCD meals. They're really unhealthy and it's just <sighs> shit. You know, no one's gonna be winning. And you're gonna die of diabetes. But they don't care. You know, just. You know, you can't just go out with anyone, you know. Someone has an allergy to this and that, and, and peanuts and shrimp, and you know, they're just too sensitive for me. I, I, I can't, I can't, you know, shit. You know, the perfect girl for me would just be savage as well, it's like Mongolian or some kind of like African like tribe lady who just doesn't give a fuck, just e eats whatever, <clears throat> and that's just you know. I, who match.com is gonna align me with because I, I don't give a fuck. <clears throat> you know, it's just savage. You know, I don't, damn. And I know that picky eaters are usually very pretty. These women have very, you know, optimal, high nutritious uh, uh, dieting and, you know, they can only eat, uh, you know, at five star restaurants and this and that and. <sighs> They're eating avocados and toast and egg and poached egg and they have to be pasteurized eggs and all this stuff. Or they'll get a tummy ache and need Pepto-Bismol, Dulcolax, you know, the whole nine yards. <clears throat> American pharmaceutical industry, I don't know. I don't thank God I, I I'm an asshole. I, I don't I don't have headaches. I don't have um I don't have all these stomach problems people do, thyroid issues, you know. <clears throat> Shit. I 
people have like irritable bowel syndrome. A lot of people have di random diarrhea, abdominal pain. You, you know, flank pain, kidneys. I don't have any of the shit. You know, it's just I'm an asshole. I can't die of COVID. I, I don't die of this. I don't die of that. It's just I'm an asshole. You know, Wolverine is an asshole too. It's just like shit. You know. I do suffer from being lazy, and my IQ is only like a hundred, so, you know, average intelligence, you know, lazy as fuck, and, you know, it's, it's not a perfect system. I mean, you could be a genius and, and die of pancreatic cancer. I mean, Steve Jobs, this is, life isn't fair, but it's like equal. It finds ways of equalizing everything. You know, I'm probably an average ass person, but in my average assness, I probably have an average amount of, you know, pleasure and pain. I, I don't go through these extremes of headaches and, you know, all those weird, like, bowels, uh, you know, all those, like, weird medical shit. Like, I, I don't know. I could have worked 365 days. I've never called out sick in school since forever. I've never called out sick at work since forever, and this is really weird. I just, I just never call out. And it's, just, and it's just pain and suffering, having to go to work and see everyone else call out every fucking other Monday, just because they don't want to work and just have the Ferris Bueller syndrome. And meanwhile, I don't get rewarded. The person who goes to school every day or goes to work every day, like me, you know, or some like random ass Chinese kid working, you know, going to school 16 hours a day, they don't get, a, there's no reward in it. Unless you're, like, wired to be looking for social validation 24-7, social credits, you don't get rewarded. The fuck? You know, the bad kid that just skips class and, you know, doesn't, doesn't go to school and just, you know, does whatever the fuck he wants, just probably... It's probably a more rewarding life. <clears throat> but that's that's not who I am. Yeah. <sighs> so we're gonna be walking down this road and talk about life. I just get to live my life, you know. Again, I'm pretty uh, much an an average ass person, an average ass asshole. Um you know trying to make the best of it hmm it's Sunday and this is what I decided to do everyone always asks if I see a normal ass person they'll ask me do you go to church on Sundays like, did I go to church on Sundays the fuck you have to go to church on you have to wake up you have to get dressed you, you know you have to drive to the fucking church you, you know this, doesn't that sound like work you know, doesn't that sound like work to you? But some people love going to church. That just sounds like, again, with the laziness thing. <clears throat> I'm too lazy to be going to church. I also don't want to be indoctrinated. You know. And I don't want to have to live to someone else's expectations. If I can just continue to be a lazy ass motherfucker. So this is what I'm doing on my Sundays. I just try to get exercise. I'm, I'm just too lazy to go to church. Or why instill it on someone? Oh, you can go to dating. Oh, there's plenty of single girls at church. You know, there's plenty of like, in neutral like homebody uh, girls that go to church and have normal jobs and you should find a girl there. There, there you go. <clears throat> Um, otherwise, there's not going to be much male attendance because they're going to be like me, lazy and just c complacent and doesn't care because there's nothing to obtain out of it unless they're really sincere about bettering themselves or they have a higher calling because there's probably no money involved in going to church other than to... Um, be a better person be a, a deacon of light and hope for your community but I'm too much of a lazy asshole to be doing that shit 
<laughs> There's kids playing basketball like some normal ass people. Um, what the hell am I doing? <clears throat> I'm trying to vlog and monetize my pain and suffering. <clears throat> huh. Man, what an asshole thing to do. Uh, huh. Anyways, we'll just walk down here to avoid any third parties and their non-consent to me videotaping them. <clears throat> huh. Eventually we reach a road where it's blockaded. <sighs> now it's time to self-reflect. Uh, time goes by really fast, so I have no problem just staying in one place and just chilling there because I realize that you don't have to really go anywhere to be happy. Happiness can only be found within yourself. Even if you're a lazy fuck, um, somehow you have to be generating happiness within yourself. On your, in your own, on your own accord. <sighs> Even though I drive a Toyota Corolla, um, yeah. All right, let's look at look at the well. Whoa, what is that? A tadpole in there? Hmm, there's a lot of fishies in here. This is um, an average uh, water quality in New Jersey. It's, it's murky. You know, we're about 45 minutes from New York City. And the water quality is shit in comparison to, say, per se, Switzerland. Nonetheless, there are still fish in there. Hawaii has pretty good water quality, but I can assure you that the New Jersey water quality on any given day is pretty murky and shitty looking in comparison to the uh, non-industrialized uh, states or countries. So back to the happiness factor. Uh, many older adults, I'm like almost 40, I'm 39, are like, am I happy with my life? I traveled, you know, to the corporate world, worked my whole life, and now I'm just some f fat Al Bundy guy. <sighs> And I don't care. Um, you know, the best I'll ever be is being able to sit by myself and being happy. Um, you know, everything else is, is a bonus. But um, if you can just sit by yourself and be happy, then that's all you really need. Um, if you're not constantly moving around for social validation, to obtain more wealth um, or just because you're on a murderous rampage and have post PTSD of some kind all I'm saying is all you need is yourself to be happy and if you don't even have that right then you know the rest of it is, is just gonna be a train wreck no one else can make you happy and everyone's going to try to convince you, get married, where's your girlfriend, why don't you have kids. Maybe that worked. Maybe that actually worked 20, 30 years ago. Having kids was affordable. Housing was affordable. You know, you didn't need to be Einstein. You didn't need to be a wolf of Wall Street to obtain, you know, a normal ass house and, and a car and in a comfortable living 
You know, you didn't have to be fucking Hercules to be doing all this shit. But now you have to be an Einstein. You have to be a, a Hercules. You have to ha encompass all these things. You have these things and, you know, inflation rates high. Raising kids is high. Your kids are high. And, um... All these external factors will, will never make you happy. If you cannot sit by yourself and just say, hey, I want to be happy, I honor myself, I value myself, I, take, I can take care of myself, I want to take care of myself, you know, if you can't even love yourself, then you'll always be chasing and you know shit you know have I seen examples of men who are Chad's and Tyrone's and who do have a functional loving family and a wife and yeah but that's not me um you know have I seen people who have less resources than me be established uh, men in the world? Yeah. Is, is that guy me? No. Uh, no. I'm just not that chat enough, you know. This one guy started as a transporter, the lowest of lows, in, in, working at the hospital, and he became a doctor. Am I him? No, I'm not him. So, you know, just, again, I'm not chat enough. You know, you have to risk, risk everything to be said Chad, established man. I am who I am and just, I'd rather just spend that time instead of in medical school, just enjoying some peace and quiet and taking care of myself and preserving my happiness or my quietness or my peace. Could I have used this time to chase women around? Yeah, I could have. New York City is just 45 minutes away. Every time I go there, I probably have to spend $20 at the, the Hall Tunnel and then I have to get catfished by some girl who just can easily pick up some other dude because it's in the city. And then the rent is on average of $5,000. So what am I getting out of this? Not much, really. You know, you know, those turn into a, you know, trading places. And I always end up as Eddie Murphy. So it's the f I'm fucked, you know. So, welcome to the fuckery. Um, hmm. Any other asshole things I would like to say? To you? Today is a beautiful day. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, did I take time to enjoy what I have? You know, did I really need to go out and spend thousands of dollars on nothingness, empty promises? You know, catfish, OnlyFans, girls. Um, you know. This is what I chose. I just chose to hang out in nature. <sighs> and I'm just self-reflecting. I'm just showing you what it it looks like in modern day life in the year 2024 and everyone says at work you know I can't escape it okay the dating you know the OnlyFans the Match.com the Bumble whatever you know the, the Tinder everyone's always talking about it um, um 
And everyone wants the same thing, you know? They want a loving relationship. But they always find that person who's a catfish. Who's getting catfished. Or cat doing the catfishing. And it's just another scam or another, you know... Whatever the fuck. And a grift. And people just feel cheated. They feel cheated out of their time. You know, they just scroll left, scroll right. You know, you don't really see a person. You just see another fucking person. And their profile. And you wish they were real, you know. And that's how they get you. And people fall victims to these romance scams and shit. And, you know, it sucks. Because America... You know, people need jobs, and prostitution is illegal, you know. In Switzerland, prostitution is legal. You know, people need jobs, and, you know, there you go. And then they stop complaining about all the police warming their homes and shit. The individual can make money doing their red light district thing, and there you go. I don't know about the you know, STD rate or anything, but I'm pretty sure it's, it's pretty bad. I guess it's just AIDS. America has a problem with STDs, homeless people, you know, degeneracy in general. And that's that's why it's it's illegal in, in America. It's just too much too much uh, disease control and shit. So they're just like no. In any event, um the dating the dating scene sucks in America. Um, for just about everyone except for the top, you know, 1% who are NBA, NFL players, doctors, lawyers, um, you know, like big wigs and stuff. But then they too get in trouble too, like Bill Cosby and Sandusky's and, and Epstein's and Weinstein's and Berg's and, oh God, and Netanyahu's and Anyways, that would be the 1% again. You know, as for the average ass person, you'll. You know. Don't aim so high. She's probably not gonna be that good looking. It's probably makeup. It may even be a filter. Uh, you know, the computer filters uh, can do that now. And. Damn, you know. Damn, you know. And damn. Damn, you know. You better be the best version of yourself. But does anyone want to be the best version of themselves? Probably not. Does anyone want to take the time to do the work to be the best version of themselves? To go outside, get exercise, go to places? Well, no, they don't. Most people would probably just scroll on the fucking phones. Do degenerate shit. You know, consume content. Not make money for themselves. Continue to watch celebrities. Drink Pepsi, Coke, eat Doritos, and ice cream. Unless you can monetize that. And they'll just remain uh, like lower middle class, this and that, and just be stuck. Even if they had two or three jobs, they would still be stuck. I'd probably fall in the same bracket as well. So I'm an example of someone trying to get out of the, getting out of the bucket. Just being born in a bunch of crap, you know. With other crabs inside of the bucket. But now that we realize what's going on. We're trying to get out of the bucket. Well, some, some, some of the crabs are trying to get out of the bucket. Some of them do. Or you just live in the bucket of other, with other crabs. Um, which no one really wants. It's just... That is the unfortunate circumstance of the human condition. Kind of like if you were born in India, you have other billions of Indian men 
who look just like you, trying to fucking survive. Everyone has the same thick Indian accent. No one understands your Indian accent. Thick Indian accent. Everyone knows you're trying to scam them and your name is Muhammad. And you work at Dell Tech Support. Even though it's Slumdog Millionaire in Bollywood. Uh, in a scam artist industry. Anyways. I chose to go outside and take a walk. It was a beautiful walk. I don't know. I don't know why I always have to go on a tangent and be like, I have to obtain something to be happy or buy something to be happy or, you know, social validation. I wanted to be cool or something or impress people because I have something. It's just very toxic. <sighs> You know what, I'm going to go in this homeless patch here and take you to what it look, looks like to be homeless. It's actually the New York City Comic Con this week, so instead of filming there, I'm just um, here in the woods. Again, I have my opportunities to go to cool events and places. I just, I just don't um, take advantage of it because I'm too lazy, and I just don't care enough. And people say, "Oh, you should get a girlfriend at this said Comic Con, and you know, watch her go." Uh, um. I don't know. It comes with a price. <sighs> so, this is the um, foundation of homelessness. Uh, dirty bridge. Um, oh. Maybe I can just hang out here. Ugh, there's funny smell in it. Pretty sure they do a lot of voodoo in here. A lot of weird psychic energy. In any event, this makes a great urinal. Uh. Huh. Now there's a second stream. That will remain private. Uh. Huh. It sucks that there's no like private lake that you can just take a shower in. Like in Berserk. Uh. The countryside. <laughs> it's all industrial pollution and stuff, and penises drawn on the walls. <sighs> Mostly penises, though. <sighs> this is all I get to see. That's why I'm so excited when I'm traveling. Cause is that a Home Depot bucket in there? Jesus. Fucking Christ. Um, alright, that's when I'm out here.
I don't know. That's the experience. There's all these weird A's going on. And penises. But mostly penises. If I go homeless, would I just stay in here? Huh. A homeless tunnel. Interesting. Okay, we're doing 30 minutes into this. So I'll just walk back. Time is flying by. This is how I spent my Sunday. For the rest of the day, I'll be working. I'll be taking a shower and going to work. Um, I've seen other men like this. Except they're like billionaires, and they still go to work, even if they don't have to. I mean, if all their money is tied up to digital assets and stuff, or in the bank, they still go to work. They don't necessarily uh, derive pleasure from the world, it's just they want to work. They have built very strong work ethics and value, and that's what they do. The alpha male. And, uh, you know, their family's telling them to retire. You got all this money. What the fuck do you do, you do with all your money and shit? They just want to work, you know? Um, I'm the same way almost, except minus the money part. So, you know, for me, it's, it's reasonable to, hey, I, I need to work. You know, most people can understand, so does everyone else. <sighs> but if you're a billionaire, you don't really need the money anymore. Why the hell do you keep working? Um, I don't know. Maybe their business, it makes people happy. Um, I don't know. Look at Warren Buffett, Berkshire Hathaway. Does he need to continue to work? No. Uh, does it keep him going? Yes. But is, does he need the money anymore? He stopped needing the money years ago. And everyone is just obsessed about money. Believe me. And he probably knows all these things about, you know, the deadly sins, greed, and lust. There's also a book called Dying with Zero, you know? <clears throat> so who knows, you know? You have to experience your own life. I'm walking my own path here. You know? Do I regret not having a girlfriend or a significant other? Um, there's no such thing. There's no such thing for me. I, I was born alone and I will probably die alone. And, you know, girls were there just to bang and bounce. You know, other than my own mother, there's, there's no such thing. You know, it would take a tremendous amount of effort, time and money if there was. And I mean a tremendous amount of investment of myself to something that could just be catfish, could just be a romance scam. And that's probably what happens to a lot of people. 
And that's all it is. Just a fucking romance scam, you know? Child support, alimony, spousal support. You know, it's just a grift. And, you know, either way, most men are just ending up divorced. The 50% marriage rate is... This is divorce. Everyone's talking about prenups. It's not the guy doesn't want to marry the girl. It's just the girl is becoming more unpredictable. Um, men are becoming more feminine. Women are becoming more masculine. And... But still, men are chasing around biologically wired to chase around women or want women. And here women are just being women and everyone's fucking confused. And they're just born like that. And everyone's fucked. It's just, you know, what if you were born a narcissistic 10, you know, double D's, blonde, six feet tall, you know? You know, you're the apex of the chain of beauty and carrying. Whatever you want to call it. You're the queen bee. And everyone else is your drone. Worker bee. And here you are just being a bitch. And divorcing every man left and right. Picking out the Tom Brady's and the Chad's and getting divorced with him and it's just, everyone's just so f- fucking confused why did they get divorced cause she can she can do whatever she wants <clears throat> and do I have any regrets and during my time no I don't this is the fantasy <sighs> delusional people are delusional you know shit you can't live in reality. You gotta play video games and shit. And escape. Because of the trauma. In any event, this is it. You know, fuck it. So thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Have a great day. See you next one. Peace out.